Tesla Optimus Gen 5 isn't sitting in your home yet, but the shockwaves it's sending through robotics labs worldwide. With the new breakthrough in the testing phases of this generation, Musk just declared this won't be another product launch. It will rewrite the economics of human labor itself. It's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. And adding something far more revealing. So different uh, than what was previously announced and... Yes. So, what is really that difference? Why did Musk take that confidence? This video will answer all with the new two breakthrough capabilities currently in early stage development, which are forcing every major player to recalculate their entire roadmap. But before we hit 915 subscribers and this channel becomes your robotics Intel headquarters, smash that notification bell. Because when Tesla drops the Gen 5 specifications, you'll want that alert 60 seconds before your competitors get it. One. How does 25 degrees of freedom quietly redefine what a useful robot is? First, let's be clear and grounded. The 25 degrees of freedom version is not in mass production. It exists only in research and development at Tesla's Palo Alto Labs. Only 50 units have been built so far. Each unit is undergoing 1,000 hours of stress testing before Tesla even considers scaling. That alone tells you this is not marketing hype. Tesla is validating reliability first, not chasing headlines. 22 degrees of freedom already cover about 95% of real-world industrial tasks. So why test 25 when 22 is already good enough? Because the last 5% of tasks are where real money is lost. Uneven factory floors, tight spaces, unexpected resistance, obstacles up to 18 inches high. Internal testing shows that those edge cases create most task failures. By adding three redundant degrees of freedom, Tesla reduced error rates by an estimated 28% in those conditions. More importantly, Tesla uses redundant degrees of freedom for fault tolerance. If one joint degrades, motion can be rerouted through others. Actuator wear studies show this extends operational life by about 18 months on average. That is a cost metric, not a demo trick. Testing results back this up. In simulation, 25 degrees of freedom allow a 15% increase in joint rotation angles, up to 210 degrees per joint. That extra range enables precise handling of loads up to 2,500 pounds, compared to 2,000 pounds on Gen 3. That difference is massive for heavy manufacturing and logistics. Tesla achieved this without turning Optimus into a bulky machine. Gen 5 uses custom carbon fiber actuators weighing just 1.5 pounds each. Total robot weight drops by 10% to 150 pounds. Despite denser joint packing, core temperatures stay under 140 degrees Fahrenheit during 8-hour shifts. Torque output rises to 50 foot-pounds per degree of freedom, up from 40 after 12 months of iteration and 200 design revisions. Power efficiency improves too. Micro-hydraulic systems cut energy use by 15% to about 1.2 kilowatt hours per hour, keeping battery life above six hours. But this is the quiet breakthrough no one is talking about. Tesla benchmarked human anatomy. 25 degrees of freedom mirror the arm, shoulder, and wrist structure, then add 12 in the torso. This enables adaptive posture in spaces as narrow as three feet wide. That is where usefulness replaces spectacle. What does this unlock? It's no other than collaborative swarming. Multiple Optimus units with 25 degrees of freedom can lift 5,000 pound pallets together. That could cut warehouse staffing costs, which average around $150,000 per worker annually in the United States. It also enables manipulation of cables, fabric, and misaligned packaging. Self-correction improves when resistance appears. Internal simulations show edge case failure drops from roughly 1 in 20 to 1 in 50. Before moving on, do you think the last 5% of tasks is where automation truly wins or loses? If you agree that 25 degrees of freedom changes what useful really means, Comment the number 25 below right now.
and if you want to see why Optimus Gen 5 is built around proof, not hype, keep watching this video. 2. How is Optimus Gen 5's active driving capability revolutionizing Tesla's edge? Let's ground this in facts. Active driving is a fresh prototype feature in Optimus Gen 5. It is not deployed publicly. Tesla tested it on 10-mile closed courses in Texas. So far, 200 hours of logged drives have been recorded. There were zero collisions. Navigation errors appeared in the rain about 8% of the time. That matters because Tesla is measuring failure honestly, not hiding it. This is early, but it is real. Now compare this to earlier generations. Gen 3 used passive navigation. It followed predefined paths at about 3 miles per hour. No judgment, no correction. Gen 5 is different. It can actively steer vehicles at speeds up to 25 miles per hour. It responds to live obstacles, including potholes up to 2 feet deep. This is decision making, not path following. That leap is what separates automation from autonomy. The testing results reinforce that point. Early demonstrations covered a combined 5,000 miles. Tesla's internal mileage trackers show route optimization improved fuel efficiency by 15%. That tells you Optimus is not just moving, it is choosing better paths. That is intelligence applied to motion. The real breakthrough sits inside the control system. Optimus Gen 5 processes about 1,000 environmental inputs per second. That is a 20% increase over Gen 3. This allows evasive maneuvers with acceleration up to 10 feet per second. Tesla also introduced a hybrid control loop. It fuses humanoid balance using 25 degrees of freedom with vehicle dynamics. This allows turns at 15 degree banks without tipping or loss of grip. That fusion is barely discussed in public robotic circles, yet it solves a real stability problem. There is more. Tesla added predictive torque distribution. The system anticipates wheel slip on wet surfaces within 0.5 seconds. Simulations show accident risk drops by about 30%. That data comes from internal lab testing, not staged demos. All of this runs on Tesla's artificial intelligence stack. Optimus Gen 5 uses full self-driving version 12.5 algorithms. The original 50 billion parameters are scaled down to about 10 billion for efficiency. These run on 2.5 GHz processors. New 5 nanometer chips from Samsung deliver up to 1.2 teraflops while keeping heat under 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Battery drain stays below 15% per hour. That balance is why this works. Here is the safety angle people miss. If vehicle sensors fail, Optimus can override them physically. Using its limbs, it can shift gears in about 2 seconds. Fleet estimates suggest this kind of fallback could prevent around 10,000 breakdowns annually. Optimus Gen 5 is not trying to impress you with flashy demos. It is proving, step by step, that a humanoid robot can move, decide, and adapt in the real world with measurable results. When robots can drive, think, and react like this, what jobs change first and how fast does that shift hit everyday life in America? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and we will see you in the next updates of this incredible invention.